Hello Virgo, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your love forecast for October. Straight out of the gate we have the word pragmatic which is uh, usually Virgo's labeled with that. But at the head of your reading we have the Queen of Swords. So in the month of October you're going to be approachable uh, humorous, taking things with a grain of salt, but being very sharp in intuition, being able to see through any illusions, delusions, false stories. It's also shown that you've been on a journey, you are on your path. Uh, the karma card is here as well as your card, the Hermit. It seems you've been searching or are searching for something you feel that you have lost, but it is not lost at all. And in the case of love, um, this realization is rushing towards you. There could be a peace offering coming towards you from your intended partner that will transition this relationship. You're looking very attractive, confident. And if you are single, you are, you are definitely attracting a soulmate here. Now this peace offering could be coming in a form of an offer <clears throat> of an opportunity but you've been disappointed you may be a little hesitant again i've got that word pragmatic shouting out at me um but this is a true offer this is one of sincerity and deep love this soulmate wants to give as much as they receive from you if not more October looks like actually a very good month for you when it comes to love. Let's clarify this. So an opportunity, you'll be able to see through it if it's uh, genuine or not. This looks like an opportunity. In fact, this feels very much right now, Virgo, like if this is an op it does look like an opportunity coming towards you, you're going to be able to suss it out or even tweak it as to what m would make the right offer or better offer. I'm getting the word negotiation, even though cards aren't saying that, but quite possibly karma is being clarified by the chariot. Now we have the chariot in two corners of this foundation. Things are really speeding up in October. And I do believe, you know, just to be a, just a little off topic October is going to be a red October for the globe um, that's rushing out and it's part of humanity's destiny but I think it, this hermit this is the left brain thinking you've taken that lamp light given to you from the right side of the brain from that spiritual side and working your way through the physical side. So for some of you Virgos out there, <clears throat> your way showers, whoops, and clarifying the hermit is collaboration. The blueprints, how can we make this work? How can we navigate through these times, these opportunities? How will it play out? Again, we're looking at this long journey that you are on seeking out what you have lost but you have not you have guides around you there is that discovery coming for you if not in october that what you thought you missed out on or lost you haven't you have an offer of love racing towards you there she is again confidence law of attraction you are attracting opportunities as well as partners people who want to be with you 
uh, for some of you Virgos who are have your heart set on one person they do want to work through things with you things are changing between the two of you for those of you who are single there's divine intervention here it's like going through the fire to be with the one you are meant to be with and there's the opportunity you're attracting opportunities and partners towards you the ten of cups is This now, yes, it could be a new partner, but it could be a new. You could be do in, going into a new project. Uh, there is some worry here that there would be disappointment, but you've got some divine intervention, ah, uh, because there is a tower moment. And as I said, I think this is a global thing. This red October that's coming. There's a lot of. Um, a lot of energies coming towards humanity that oh, God willing that we're ready for however I think that the the greatest gift you have here Virgo is your ability to love to hold family dear to find opportunities and ways to have a new beginning this could also mean boy if you guys invested in crypto that might be your takeoff month your soulmate coming towards you, racing towards you with an offer, whether that offer is someone from your partner or someone new. There's deep emotional attachment to you. Could be a water sign, could be a fire sign. And we have marriage, unity, partnership, equal give and take a nice balance in love coming for you i hope that was of some help to you there's going to be some ups and downs but it looks like you're going to face it together with a lot of strength and deep love check the description below for the astrology side of this reading there will be a link there to my subscribers, God bless you. And to those who haven't, please do. Though, if you're on YouTube, I'm not sure how much longer I'll have a channel there. Thanks for joining me.